Yeah, it's another edition of Breakfast with the Bull. Look at those pods, guys. Uncle Bull Cow in the building. Breakfast with the Bull. Happy Saturday morning to yous. Yous, that means you guys. That means you guys and you girls. Just look at this breakfast. What do I got here? Huh? Got me some... Some coffee with Ink Gardener's War Cry tincture in it. This is my favorite tincture to put in coffee. Yeah. It's a caramel flavored tincture. Uh, it's got heat and it's got a nice flavor. <clears throat> also got some pods here from Ink Gardener. Thank you, Mike and Tammy. So, don't know what these are. But they can comment below. Mike and Tammy, comment first. Which one is this rad looking thing? It's all kinds of different colors. Look at that. Purples and oranges and just all, all kinds of cool looking. And then this beautiful chocolatey caramel treat. I'm terrified of this. So, but I am doing it with breakfast. So I will take a solo bite, you know. Got me some breakfast crunch wraps here, you know. No, no, no hog this morning. This, today's was a, was a good day by Ice Cube. Mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. <clears throat> I don't have any hog, so it's just a, a hash brown with with eggs and cheese. And, you know, it's just very simple. This is Bokas said, "You better not have no hog." She's anti-pig. All right, let's take a little soul bite of this funky looking thing. Pod number one, Mike and Tammy, if you watch this, comment what this is. Mm. Okay, there's the damn heat. <laughs> Oh, when I first bit into the end, I'm like, wow, it tastes good. A little sweet, a little bit fruity. And then the heat starts coming in. Man, that's got a classic, like, pepper flavor. Let me cut this up and throw it in the burrito. Chuck that in the garbage. Take a nice big slice of this pepper and put it right up on there. Mmm. That's an excellent pod. So, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of fruity. No bitterness. Then the heat kicks in. But the heat is like... The heat and the, and the placenta flavor is something that just brings me back to an old school, old school pepper burn. And maybe that's because it's got the smoothness of a pepper that is not, um, you know, something that's, of course, it's not floral at all. Man, I love it. This is, this is great. Mm. That is perfect right there. I'm warming up a little bit in the morning, you know. That's where it's at, too. Wash it down with just, just a little bit of war cry. Well... All right, there's one more little slice left. We'll toss it on here. Mm, mm, mm. Excellent pepper. No bitter, no floral. That's my dream pepper right there, guys. You guys know I can't stand floral. Bitter, I'm not a fan of it, but I can handle a little bitter, but... 
Look at this thing. This is going to give me trouble. I can tell you right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it in half. I'm going to... Well, I didn't slice it in half. I did a terrible job. <laughs> but... I'll do a solo with that side. I'll cut this in half and put it on the burritos. Mmm. <clears throat> really good chocolate pot right there. Can I open this thing up? Yes, I can. Let's put that bad boy right in there. Like a special taco. It's it's a pepper taco, folks. Mmm. Really good chocolate pod. Not overly earthy. Um, I just bit into the biggest plate piece of placenta right there with the food. A little bit of floralness. Really good heat. Um, really good heat. I'm sure if I popped the whole one of those in my mouth, I'd be in straight panic mode. Ooh. It's hot. It's hot. Ooh. Ooh. This is where I like to be, though, guys. But it's building. It's building, and this is going to make it even worse. Uh, anytime you had liquid, especially liquid that's got something hot in it already. <clears throat> Woo! It felt like that lady from that, that news clip. Sweet Lord Jesus, there's a fire. Wow, it's hot. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> That's a builder. Of course, I got heat in the beginning, but not like I'm getting now. Now I'm getting this ear burn over here. Um, the mouth is engulfed. Woo! You see it sticking out of there still. I still got a piece right here I'm going to put in this other burrito. That's really good tasting. I eat pods like this every morning if I have fresh pods. There's sometimes, I mean... I'll take a pepper and what was it? Chassie, what were we eating? Noodles. We were eating some um Asian noodles and bone broth. And I cut up some peppers the other day and put them in there. I don't know why. They were it was they were bitter and florals all hell. My breakfast, so people say. Oh, putting hot sauce on it covers up the taste of the breakfast. No, it enhances it. Um, or they'll say you, you if I put the the pepper in the burrito, you can't taste the pepper. I can taste the pepper. Well, you can't tell if it's floral. Yes, I can. I've been able to. I'm very good at taking apart flavors. Um. I mean, I've, I've been able to almost or pretty much duplicate Old Bay seasoning. It's one of the hardest things chefs have tried. Um, people that don't eat peppers are uh, sometimes the most opinionated. Yeah, most people that don't eat peppers or whatever. But Or you got people, I'm gonna, let's, 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 be, let's be honest. You got people out there that review pods and they eat the whole pod on camera. And guess what? They don't eat peppers with their food. They're just reviewing whole pods. They're not somebody that likes 
hot food. They just, they're like, I don't know. They're that bad boy in there. They're, I don't know. You know, I don't know. They're just trying to burn or something. They're not somebody that's a true, like, chili connoisseur. We eat this stuff. Me and my wife eat this stuff in everything. Everything. If it's pod season, fresh pods. Hot sauce, no matter what, all year round. And, you know, if it's not pod season, we use powder. My wife will sit there like freaking Scarface with powder all day long. It not only adds heat, it adds different flavors and depths and enhances. Well, number one thing, it enhances flavors. It brings flavors out of the food that you're already eating. So this chocolate pod, hot, a little bit of smokiness. Um, I ate the biggest part of the placenta was in the, I put it upside down. So the first bite of the last um, crunch wrap, there was a little, little bit of floral. Well, not hardly anything at all, though. Really enjoyable. Um, Mike and Sammy from Ink Gardener. If you haven't done so, check them out. They got some. They got pods right now, uh, for sale. Go grab some pods. But they got all kinds of products. Um, I mean, they're uh, they angry apples. The the, the the spiced apples. The apple jelly, love this stuff. Um, they got spicy coffee. I mean, the list goes on. Hot sauces. So check out their Etsy store. Um, I will put the link for their Etsy store in the description. You know if Uncle Bocal or orders, or I order, I have ordered everything they've had at some point or other. They do have a new wing sauce I haven't got yet, but I'll get one. Um, but you know, if I order, if I order every product someone comes out with, it's good. Um, that's why I'm here, man. I'm here to review stuff so that you guys can have a good, you know, idea before you go getting into something. Nice burn going. Oh, I'm right at my max level right now. Where this is where I like to be. Um, I like to be that burn where I can barely feel it, like up in here. My ear it doesn't feel like someone's drilling a, a 400 degree drill in my ear. Um, my throat doesn't feel like, you know, the, there's a freaking claw scratching in the inside of it. But I have a nice little throat burn. Little ear burns lingering back and forth. My mouth is, is on fire. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm warm. This is my perfect comfort level. Um, you know, for the, the, the super hot chili heads that have a high tolerance, this is nothing for them. Um, you know, if someone that was not a chili head or someone very moderate, like not moderate, new, were to eat what I just ate, they'd be in panic mode right now. So I'm I'm a I'm a moderate kind of guy, you know. I'm in the middle. But thank you guys for watching. Mike and Tammy, thank you so much for the pods. These are awesome. We do have a couple more, Mrs. Bocow. You know, I'm not gonna eat everything I'm Mrs. Bocow, but look at those bad mamma jammas right there. I have a feeling this one in the middle is, is gonna be a problem. But uh yeah, anyways, yeah, Mike and Tammy got some excellent products, guys. Click the link in the bullet. <laughs> Click the link in the description of Blixen. It's clip and glitch. Or in the Garden Globin.